Hello, this is Svetlana Vronska and today I would like to share with you how to edit beautiful newborns such as this in our newest digital background. It's so, so cute. So I chose this uh, three. Baby has wings. You can have just baby, just random baby, like wearing some clothes. Make sure it's like uh, complements the, the whole scene. So I chose uh, these for a few reasons. So we will be able to change color of the wings to match the cloud. So I think we're gonna start with this. So use selection tool and select the baby. All right. I think uh, lasso will work on these little details. Cool. And then you select and mask. Click select and mask and use brush to pick up all these feathers that we need and also her hair. All right. Hit OK. Now use move tool right here on top and move this baby into our beautiful cloud. Of course, it's bigger, so we need to hit shift key and drag by the corner. Personally, I will use smaller, but for teaching purposes, I will leave baby a little bigger. I think it's, it's fine, actually. All right, hit OK. And now let's add some mask. Click brush. And I like to use one of my brushes. It's called hair brush. And just blend with a cloud. All right. Looks absolutely beautiful. All right. From what I see, first of all, we have to change the wings. Wings has a little brighter than the actual cloud and hit exposure and lower the exposure just a tiny bit. All right. This is, this is fine. Okay and then hold Alt key and clip to the baby. It's gonna be effect all, only baby, all right? And now hit new layer, use some eyedropper tool and just eyedrop right at the darkest, uh, maybe a little darkest side, Dark, darkest color like this click brush and I think just a regular brush will work and just color over the baby the baby's um, wings all right and don't forget to blend to hue so I think I think they're matching maybe a little darker let me just lower I think that that is perfect beautiful all right let's see exam exposure okay so I wanted exposure to affect only uh, wings so I hit exposure and I think I'm gonna add a little use the black brush just to give a little accent to the baby's face and leave the bottom on the untouched so you see before and after. So far looks amazing. Uh, I would love to flatten the image. You can flatten image by image, a layer, and flatten a layer. All right, here I would like to use some smash tool. And since this side, it's a little bit like uh, blurry, so i uh, make it bigger and just blur her, the baby's bottom just a little bit so make the baby like fit perfectly in this uh, cloud, something like this. Not to have this sharp, actually, edges. Not sharp edges, looks great. Voila, click snapshot, and before and after. All right, so 
another uh, sometimes problem because we have getting so many emails asking so my baby doesn't fit with uh, with your what we can do so these babies for example we changed uh, her wings to match the background in this case we have our baby photograph in this kind of uh, ivory background so then baby looks a little bit yellow how we're gonna to match this um, to match this background which is pure white white balance is uh, correct so we're gonna select the baby all right select the baby make sure you have her feet her legs hit select and mask her pick up her hair maybe a little bit over here just a touch over there click OK as I see I didn't pick up her fingers I'll make sure you have her finger click OK and I also see use use some lasso tool click shift key and it, you just add it to the hole and also over there all right hit move tool okay we we have our baby and just drop it to this beautiful cloud there is few ways you can make the uh, our main in, uh, image to color of the baby or we can make baby color as uh, to match white balance of the background so we're gonna do I can show you how to do both before this you can hit on the background click filter camera raw and you can add some yellowish tone to it so as you see it's perfectly matching right now background so we can I can continue like this or let me snapshot this or we can do same thing but click on actual layer baby's layer click comma camera raw and lower uh, and actually move the temperature to cooler uh, the image so uh, for this particular case I like the first choice but I think we're gonna continue working on this one all right so move the baby so it's perfectly laying on a cloud hit and this is again the same as we did on the first image so click any brush that you have available just Kind of let the baby sink into the cloud. My goodness, how cute! <laughs> adorable, adorable. All right. And now, so the baby is a little bit brighter, which is that which which is cool than the cloud. But we also can change uh, a little brightness. So exposure, hit exposure, and lower the exposure and then use alt hit o key connect this in uh, connect the exposure just for the baby background so see it affects only baby it's a little darker than we need so you can lower the opacity and now we can just see i think it's perfect so you can just use black brush as as we did on the first layer just light up just the baby's face maybe not even her hand looks looks amazing flatten the image i would like to use smudge tool here also just to smudge sides just to blur background not ha not to have all these sharp edges we have our baby in focus and everything is focused but it's perfect it's beautiful uh, i just did snapshot shot so the image was like this we created something uh, with the first example with this. Also, we created uh, something. Remember, we changed just the background to match the baby, or you can do opposite, just matching baby to the background. And the third one image, when the baby is positioned the other way, so same thing. You just select the baby. And maybe a little bit of the, of the baby's head. All right, let's come back to this layer. All right, click just just to the main uh, image. 
and let's move the baby by hold just you I'm just holding the key and so as you see the light coming from this side and the baby always lighted from the uh, head side so we have to move the baby so we have in the baby we have light coming from this side and for on a particular for example you shot the baby and when the light comes from the other side so obviously our brain uh, will fight with us so we have to we have to transfer uh, we have to rotate the baby so click edit transform and flip horizontal so we move the baby so the baby the light come into the baby's face so that's why it's more complementary for our eyes all right so make sure to watch the light where the light coming so so, so it's so that these three uh, points are very useful when you when it goes to digital background so you can check our collection or on etsy the link will be in description down under this video so you can just continue working let's sing the baby all right also this baby it's a little bit lighter uh, exposure on this image a little bit lighter so click on the baby not on the mask click exposure lower the exposure click alt key and merge the exposure to affect the baby only all right now it's a little bit darker so first of all i'm gonna do just to see i'm gonna light the baby's face that's a little bit too much so yeah let's lower first opacity to this level and just a little bit in baby face i don't think we even need it i think it's perfectly matching so we don't need even to mask this exposure that we just did i think it's perfect matching the background the color white balance on the baby and on the background matching each other so we did all we did all three different sometimes uh, we call it problems or conflicts which you can meet by photoshopping baby into digital background so first of all we did where the some parts were different than the actual background but baby was the same so we did i show you how to do if you want just to change background without changing the baby or changing the baby to to match the background and the flipping baby to match the light that coming from the right side to from the left side usually on our background so we position our baby facing uh to the light so so to match perfectly our digital background so we have huge collection as i mentioned before flowers best up milk best that we uh for unique that we created so uh i think in my next tutorial will be about the milk how to afford it because i think that's beautiful it's so popular right now so every parents ask me uh about this and then when i say oh actually it's our digital backgrounds oh it's a, that's cool because I, I didn't know if that's gonna wake up the baby so uh, so it's just perfect you can have beautiful variety when you gonna deliver a uh, collection to your client i think that tutorial was success if you have any question just leave leave comment down the video thank you so much for following us and thank you so much for visiting our stores it means a lot for us thank you so much love you bye bye